That's uh, Tim Richardson here. Uh, in this unit on sustainable development, uh, there's a phrase in which I talk about uh, harvesting practices, uh, say in the case of uh, water management and soil erosion. And I wanted to explain uh, just very briefly what that means. So I used uh, Google Images uh, to show an example of uh, some clear cutting. And as you can see in some of these pictures here, let's say uh, you take a picture of this one here. Uh, Typically, when they cut the forests uh, for transporting the logs, they'll take a whole section like this and leave this section here for the trees to grow back. And people may think, well, that's really great. That's sustainable development. Actually, it's not because, as you can see, this ground here is quite steep. And there's a river over in this area. If this ground is quite steep, what's going to happen is when the rains come, the rains are going to rush down the side of this hill, erode all the soil, the soil is going to end up in the creek and there's going to be bare rock and rubble and it's going to be very difficult for plants and soil to then regenerate for large tall trees to grow back. So if they adopt this particular practice then in fact it's not sustainable development because even though the theory is you cut one area and leave the trees on this side this area is not going to grow back trees. The more expensive way to do this is to have a very small area where you cut the trees then a row of trees, then a small area, then a row of trees. Now that's going to be very expensive because there's less maneuverability for the tree cutting equipment to get into and the trucks to haul things away. It's more expensive, but that's a better practice. So when we're talking about sustainability and harvesting practices, that's an example of what I'm talking about.